Hello and welcome to this how-to screencast of H5P's interactive video tool. To start with, select the tile you wish to put the tool in, click Add an activity or resource, navigate to the H5P tool and click Add. In the next window, you'll see a list of all the H5P tools. Interactive video is the one we're looking for and you just click it. There's three steps here. Step one is to add the video, step two to add the interactions, and step three, if you like, is to add a summary. Step one, I'm gonna add the video. So for this, I'm just going to use a YouTube link that I'm gonna paste into this box here and click insert. Once you've given your video a title, we can then move to step two and start adding interactions. As you can see across the top of the screen are all our interactions. Label is the first one we're going to use. And as with all the interactions, we're going to have to specify the time we want the interaction to start and the time we want the interaction to stop. So for this label, we're going to put some text in here and click done. And as you can see, our label pops up on the screen at the time we have specified. Text is our next interaction, and when we click it, you can see we're given the display time, but here we're also given an option whether or not we want the video to pause when the interaction starts, if we want it to display as a button or a poster, which I'll explain more in a second, and of course, what you want the text to be. I have this set to display as a button, which from the student's point of view will appear at my specified time like this. And when they click on it, it'll reveal whatever I've put into the text. Note the video doesn't pause until the student presses the button. And when they're finished, the video will play again. The other display option is called poster. This will not appear as a button. It will pause the video and display for the student straight away. So because the video is paused, there's no need to have any display time duration. And so unlike the button, the video pauses automatically, displays what it was ever in the text box, and the student must read it and then press play to continue watching the video. The next interaction is quite simply a link. In the title box, you can name your link whatever you want. And the URL is simply where the link goes. You can then place the link wherever you like on the screen. So that's a very basic rundown of the interactive video. In the next video, I'm going to go into more detail of the statements tool, the single choice set, the multiple choice, true or false questions, fill in the blanks, drag and drop, mark the words, and finally drag text. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.